What's up, Fight Fans? Main Man Made Man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What's up to the fam? Hey, look, the thing is this, man. So, we hear the news of Conor Ben now popping dirty for performance enhancing drugs. And the fight between him and Chris Eubank Jr. has now been called off. It seems as if that this fight now is also, which fell under the jurisdiction of the BBBOC, has been called off by them. And the promoters and Eddie Hearn has stated that they will, I guess, honor what the BBBOC has called. And so far, this fight is now officially off. I know that there was some maybe wonders if that Eddie Hearn may go around the BBBOC and try to go under another, you know, jurisdiction of another organization or whatnot. Same way that David Hay did. Uh, versus his fight with Derek Jashore. But nah, man, Eddie Hearn is shutting that down, saying it ain't happening, and they're going to uh, uh, basically adhere to what the BBBOC is saying. Now, even though Eddie Hearn is acting all, acting, you know, or he's following the BBBOC's rule and they're postponing the fight and everything like that, make no mistake about it, fight fans, according to the words of Eddie Hearn, he states that both companies, his company and the other company that promotes Chris Eubank, knew about this weeks ago and it seems as if all parties involved knew about this weeks ago and the fighters were okay with this including chris eubank and he they wanted to go forward with this fight now that's a ridiculous point of view to have man and not concerned about your safety whatsoever anything could have went wrong in this fight chris eubank coming all the way down and wait at his age and then on top of that fighting a dirty fighter you willing to throw your whole safety and health out the window for the money. It's crazy, man. It's really crazy, fight fans. So the crazy thing is that this fight was headed to happen this coming Saturday. And we were on our way to this fight if this story did not get leaked to the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail were the ones that broke this uh, story, fight fans. And so you got to wonder who leaked the report to the Daily Mail that Conor Ben failed the drug test. And would the promoters of this fight had let this out to the public and, and went, went along with this fight? Would they have done something dirty like that? That's crazy, man. Boxing, man. You just don't know. You just don't know. But you can trust and believe, fight fans, that this will not stop the promoters from trying to put this fight on once again. They may have failed this time. They may got to get through some legal rambling and wrangling and stuff like that. And they may got to try to figure a path forward. But they're going to try to figure a path forward back to this fight. Eddie Hearn is speaking about this just being a postponement. And if you look on the other side with Kelly Sowlin, where they're saying that, hey, man, they're down to get back into this fight as soon as they can. So this is just a postponement listening to both promoters. And they're trying to not trying to let all of this money slip through the cracks. And as for Conor Ben, man, well, popping dirty for a performance enhancing drug fight fans. Well, I'm telling you here, man, his reputation is in shambles. He is now an official dirty fighter. And there's a lot of fight fans out there, to be truth be told, that had a lot of suspicions of this dude. We know about the reports about that came out of him being removed from the WBC for failure to enroll in the clean boxer program. Man, there's been a lot of people out here saying, hey, he knocking people out all of a sudden. And this wasn't the same guy that we saw kind of coming through the ranks. And I mean, there's just been suspicions, fight fans. People coming out in reports now talking about what they heard and what they suspected. And, you know, people almost was like anticipating this moment to a certain degree, fight fans. And. There's been a lot of suspicions about Conor Ben, and now it's it's proved been proven to be true. If you know, with for those suspicions, this is messed up because the man carries his father's last name, and I know his father got to be like ah, I'm pretty ashamed to see this, you know what I mean? But hell, it's part of the fight game, you know what I'm saying? And there've been report that this 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 particular substance that Conor Ben got caught up for, well, it's a pretty a heavy thing. At least according to Dan Rayfield, he is saying that this is a serious thing. Uh, they're saying this substance was known to have be for fertility issues with women. But however, when men take it, it raises their t t testosterone levels. And so Conor Ben was looking to be a bit more stronger, perhaps going into this fight, fight fans. Not to say that testosterone just helps your power. 
But we know that this fight was happening at a weird ass dumb catch way to 157 fight fans. We know that Chris Eubank Jr.'s father was totally against this fight. And it made no sense health wise for Chris Eubank Jr. to risk it for this fight. The fight makes no sense in my eyes. I'm going to be totally transparent about this. I'm not a fan of this fight, fight fans. The fight makes no sense. I see two fighters that are ducking smoke in their own weight classes and riding off their father's last names. And it's a damn shame because they haven't even put no work in in the sport to even earn the right to go and do something like this. You hear me? This is a nothing but a promoter's dream for the promoters to fatten up their pockets. And of course, they're going to make the fighters make some good money. And But it's just too risky health wise for both fighters. As you see, one of them having to take steroids or pop dirty or whatever just to get up, you know, be a stronger fighter at 57. He was looking to go in there and knock Chris Eubank Jr.'s head off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was looking to go in there and put on a show, Fight Fans. He was looking in to go in there and put on the greatest show on boxing earth. Because he was juiced up to the gills, ready to go in there and knock out uh, 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 Chris Eubank Jr. And Chris Eubank would have been pretty drained trying to get down there at 57, I'm sure. Man, he would have been knockout bait, Fight Fans. And that's what was going on, man. And if it would have happened, you can trust and believe that Eddie Hearn would have promoted Conor Ben all the way to the stars. And this is, once again, another peek into the fight game on how dirty and grungy how this fight game can be, fight fans. I mean, it's crazy. According to Conor Ben, he's talking about he a clean fighter. Man, ain't nobody going to believe that. Reputation is in shambles. And let me say this, fight fans. The reputation is in shambles for both fighters. Both of them just look like ducks. I mean, just to make this fight already was a was just a joke within itself. At least they probably thought they was gonna get paid and maybe at least run off with at least a bag of money. Man, now their reputations are in shambles. For me, both fighters. Chris Eubank Jr. ain't done nothing. Best opponent was George Groves, who beat him while hurt. Man, get out of here, champ. Avoided Jamal Charlo. Come on, man. And the way he fought George Groves was a joke. Man, nobody got no love for Chris Eubank Jr., man. And at the end of the day, they both stained their legacies with this, man. I know that Conor Ben is the one that popped hot and he dirty. And, but at the end of the day, it, Chris Eubank Jr. still looks like a, a, a vicious duck and trying to do something unhealthy just for, for the money, fight fans. For the love of that money. But to do something so unhealthy, man, to try to take this fight. He can make good money fighting the people around him. That's the crazy thing in this weight class. So can Conor Ben. Conor Ben supposed to be coming to America. What happened to that? What happened to him coming to America? He fought Chris Algieri and stopped right there. That was it. We got nothing else, fight fans. And he was supposed to be coming to and making his name rise out here and, get, and fight some of the more recognizable names and raise his name out here in America and raise, raise his profile. But we got none of that, man. He ain't fight nobody. And now people going to be looking at him with the side eye like, bro, how good is you is for real? I don't know how good he really is. There's been too much suspicions with this cat. Now, even when he was removed from the WBC rankings for that clean boxing stuff, but he got back in it. But though, that'd be after the fact. That's just like with this whole BBBOC thing. They're saying that UCAD caught him. I mean, UCAD tested him, but they he passed all the UCAD tests. But VADA are the ones that caught him, fight fans. Vada gives much more stringent tests than UK. UK, everybody squeaks through the cracks of UK with their type of rules, with the in competition, the out of competition stuff. And that's who BBBOC use. Now, they're saying that given that there was no British title involved, that they don't believe that maybe both fighters should, I mean, that the fighters should be suspended. But who knows how this is going to work out because they're also saying that the BBBOC is looking to do a probe into this with a possible four-year ban attached to it. Once again, I'll be surprised if they do hit him with a four-year ban. I mean, I'll be very, very surprised to see that. I doubt it, but we'll see. But uh, there's uh, no sanctioning body was sanctioning in this fight. You know, so I don't know what the sanctioning bodies, how they would look at this. Either way, it's still a failed drug test for a fight. You know what I'm saying? And I think there still should be some sort of punishment issued to Conor Ben. And that just should happen. I mean, he, he popped dirty for a fight, period. Say what you want. I mean, Chris Eubank, he didn't, even though he's a duck of the fight, he didn't pop dirty for the fight. 
And he the one that had to sacrifice losing, cutting all that weight. That weight cut had to be crazy for him. So it is what it is, man. Take Chris. I say take Conor Ben, sit him down. His reputation is in shambles. He's dragged his legacy through the mud. Now he's got, he's, to me, hit the restart button, hit the reset button. He's too young to get caught with a scandal like this. This is the Ben scandal. The Conor Ben scandal, fight fans. And how young is he? Too young to have a PED scandal like this, man. Now ain't nobody going to take him serious. His credibility is done. Before his train left the station out here in America, it's pretty much derailed, man. And it is what it is. It is what it is. And even once this fight was over, whoever would have won, trust me, fight fans, they still wouldn't have looked good in my eyes. Because I thought the whole time, this whole situation was just a joke. You hear me? I know Frank Warren got to be laughing his way to the uh, laughing his way to the next microphone. He can't wait to get to an interview to talk about this. And he's going to rag all of this on Eddie Hearn. Trust and believe. Eddie, you got caught with this one, bro. And you're going to have to hold this one. And his explanation is going to be epic. I see he doing his speeches and he's saying, you know, this and he's saying that this guy was clean and all of it. Man, look, man, he passed you can't test. It don't matter, man. He's dirty. He's filthy. And it is what it is. Thumbs up on the way out. We didn't hit it on the way in. Share, share, share. Rock the bells, man. Legacies in shambles right now. At this current, my boy, as far as for Connor Ben, he, he, his, his legacy in, is just filthy. And as for Chris Eubank, duck. To the next video. Peace out.